Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and here we go it's time for another super cool Cards to the Universe and Everything Weekly League Deck and it's a war goat using Goatman. I love my Goatman. This is a super cool deck it's done that really well for me in the league so let's go and check out the deck as always and then we will go and play a league game. So the deck is on the left and it's a 9 and 9, no surprise as it's a Goatman deck. Uh, so we've got 9 history, 9 science using the uh, time machine as well. So Goatman, what we got? 7 for 54, he's a limited epic. On the play, if your deck has exactly 9 cards from any album, which it does on 2, those cards, wherever they are, gain 14 until played. I forgot how good Goatman is. He is a really cool card. I've gone with Ronok Colony, another really super cool card. He's a limited epic, 5 for 20, so reasonably expensive or reasonably cheap, however you want to look at it. He's probably in the middle, really. On the return, if you lost a turn, your opponent's cards, wherever they are, lose minus 10 until played. So they would lose 180. And if you won the turn, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. So that's a buff of 180. So really good card. I have gone with this evil guy. Cow P. Chai Pai? I don't know. 7 for 62. You should know this card by now. He is a unruly ruler. He's a limited epic. And on the draw, if your deck contains three or more Unruly Ruler cards, which it does, your non-Unruly Ruler cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20 until played. And if you lost a turn, your Unruly Ruler cards, wherever they are, Unruly Ruly, Unruly Ruler cards, wherever they are, lose minus 20 for three turns. There we go. Uh, what else have we got? KO, KO. Haven't used him for a while, but this is a Machines of War deck and he works really well and he's super cheap to play. He is a limited legendary, which is a little bit surprising. Two for 20 on the play of played in the left slot, which is where I always play him in this deck. Uh, your machines of war cards, wherever they are, gain plus 22 until played. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, six machine wars, uh, machines of war cards. So pretty tasty buff there from KL, KL, or Chow, Chow. Richard III of England. There we go. I can read that one. And uh, 5 for 48. Another epic card. On the draw, a random card in your hand loses minus 25. Boo! And 2, if your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 25 permanently. That is awesome. And your unruly ruler cards, wherever they are, gain 16 until played. That is really good. Okay, we've got a few cool buff cards coming up now. The Sword of Attila. Really nice card, this one. Six for six. It's another epic limited. On the play, your Machines of War cards, wherever they are, gain 16 until played. If you've played next to Attila the Hun, well, we don't have Attila the Hun, uh, but I'm happy with the 16. Uh, but if played next to Attila the Hun, give them an additional six permanently. And on the return, if your deck contains Attila the Hun, which it doesn't, your Roman Empire cards, wherever they are, cost minus three until played. He is there, really, to buff up those six Machines of War cards. They are going to get super strong. And he is a good card. Quite expensive, though, to play at 6 for 60 this week. Library of Alexander, another card I love. 6 for 65. Again, he's quite expensive to play. We can just about manage the energy on this one. You do need to be a little bit careful with this deck, but it is achievable. 6 for 65, as I said, on the play. Your history and science cards in hand gain plus 38 this turn. And on the return, this card loses minus 40 until played. And I've been trying to hold the Library of Alexandria for as long as I can. Uh, so we get that maximum impact from it. But there we go. Next card, the Siege of Baghdad. Another epic. It's a limited. On the draw, your opponent's legendary cards, wherever they are, lose minus 25 for three turns. Hopefully, everybody is playing legendary cards. Magna Carta, like I said, energy is really, really tight with this deck. This one's going to help immensely. 2 for 15, he is a limited legendary card. On the draw, your epic and rare cards, wherever they are, cost minus 2 until played. And that's pretty much all of our cards, apart from 1, 2, 3, 4. Apart from 4 cards, that was going to save us some massive energy. 5 cards, sorry. Uh, and on the play, your Declaration of Independence and Universal Declaration of Human Rights cards gain plus 20 this turn when well, we don't have either of them 
That is the yellow cards. Let's go and have a look at the sexy green cards. Time machine, eight for 72. Quite expensive, this one. Get the timing right when you play him. But on the draw, so it's good, it's on the draw. Uh, if your deck has exactly nine history cards, which it does, your science cards, wherever they are, gain plus 15 until played and vice versa. Really useful. Okay, let's go and check out these machines of war. Ballista, another one of my favorite cards. Four for 48, it's an epic limited on the return. An opponent's random card in hand loses minus 80 this round. Try and get him out at the beginning of the round if you can be really useful the great punjab drum look at that absolutely awesome six for 57 on the play your machines of war cards wherever they are game 15 until played that's nice and on the return if you want the turn your machines of war cards wherever they are gain an additional eight until played really nice i've chucked in the door to hell because he's cheap he works really well three for 40 and he's going to buff up pretty much whatever we've got in our hand because on the draw your cards in hand band 50 until played but gain plus 50 power this turn nice limbo hey do the limbo no, that's the wrong song isn't it three for 33 <laughs> epic limited on the draw three random cards in your opponent's deck lose minus 25 power for three turns that is amazing and then on the return three of your random machines of war cards wherever they are Game plus 25 until play. That is an absolutely stonking card. Really, really good card. M4 Sherman. This one is a limited legendary. On the draw, your machines of all cards, wherever they are, game plus at 30 this round. So try and time him right. He's only 4 for 13, so he's a pretty cheap card to play. Hedgehog. 5 for 35. On the play, the card opposite this loses minus 30 permanently. So try and aim that on some of your opponent's big hitting cards. The Doppler Effect, this is a good card. It's going to buff up your science cards and save you a little bit of energy. On the draw, your science cards in hand gain plus 30 power and cost minus one energy for two turns. And on the return, your remaining science cards in hand lose minus 15 permanently. So try and play him and don't have any science cards left in your hand. Last card then, another Machines of War. It's the cannon. On the draw, your cards in hand cost minus one until played. That is super useful. And <coughs> excuse me. On the play, your Napoleon Bonaparte card in hand gains plus 36 this turn. Well, we don't have Napoleon, but he is in there because he will get the Machines of War buffs. And also, he is going to save you some much needed energy. Okay, let's go and check out the league. I am rank one. No shields, so let's see if we can get a couple of shields. Okay, we are playing the War Goat. And, oh, Zenfest. Zenfest, wow, look at that card back. And your deck holder, amazing. And your wallpaper, wow, that is really cool. I like that. Okay, here we go. Let's check out our War Goat Machines of War weekly league deck. And don't forget, there's a couple of these cards that you do need to play in the right place. So, Ballister at the beginning of the round, if you can. Chow Chow or Chow Chow. Uh, you also want to play him on the left if possible. And uh, Ronot Colony is a good one. Siege of Baghdad is good to get round if you can. So only 13 energy per turn this week. So here we go. So let's put him in the left. And we can go with Siege of Baghdad. I do like to get him round. Let's say hello. Hello. So 170. Oh, Froggies. Froggies are super strong this week. This is going to be super tough. This deck has beaten all of the Festive Traditions decks quite easily, by the way. Uh, beats pretty much everything so far. Uh, I have come up against a couple of other Machines of War decks quite interestingly. I won one, lost one, I think. And what else have I played? Played a whole heap, even an auto-tune deck, which got destroyed, actually, which I was really pleased about. Uh, so Door to Hell, it is burning. Uh, like I said, you do need to concentrate a little bit with this deck. Three, six, nine. That is nice. Oh, he is buffing up his cards nicely here. Oh, but it looks like we've got a nice big lead, Zenfest. Nice big lead. Deck code, by the way, is PKUHZF. Nice and early for you. And so normally I would play Doppler Effect when I've got three signs, but I'm going to get him out of the way, I think. Um... Uh, 3 at 1-9 and get Goatman around. I think we should be okay on this first round. 
Yeah, these frogs are going to get super, super strong. We've got venomous creatures. I've got some good venomous creature decks, actually. I should try one of them. Uh, two, eight, five. Okay, one nil. We're well on our way. This is looking okay so far. Oh, Magna Carta, that is a dream. I'd like to get Magna Carta out because that is on all of those rare and epic cards. Sorry, until played. So let's try it and just get this rotation good. I'm going to probably try and lose this round. Well, not try and lose it, but I think I'm going to lose this round. And try and get all our big cards until round three and probably round five. That's my tactic with this deck. Concentrate on a couple of rounds. See those machines of war cards getting super strong already. One for 107. Let's get these out of the way, I guess. And the Sword of Attila. 313. I'm going to hold the library for a little bit longer till we really need it. Probably not this round, actually. And let's see what happens. These froggies are good. That is a really good deck. I do recommend frogs, actually, this week. Uh, this is the first frog deck I've played. So let's see. And, ooh, we've only got 13 energy. Now, this is going to be a little bit tough. On the left, right, 2, 5, 1. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose this round. Oh, what a score. 4, 5, 9. Oh, 4, 9, 4. We got obliterated. Well played, Zenfest. I like your name as well. You're welcome. Thanks. You are very welcome, sir. You come here with a beautiful card back and a lovely wallpaper and a really nice frog deck. Okay, here we go. We need to win this one. So now we are in business. So door to hell, baluster, and what should we put in the middle? Um, that one, I think. Five at five, nine. That's a cool score. Ooh, these froggies are going to keep up with us. Oh, five, four, four. Okay, we got a bit of a lead. That is good news. So these machine wars, you can see all those buff cards really work. Your green cards are so important in this deck. And you want to try and get them all together on three rounds, if possible. Not always possible. Um, you do need to think with this deck. So I'm probably going to hold Doppler Effect, maybe. Energy now is okay, thanks to Magna Carta. And also, uh, 592. Yeah, thanks to Magna Carta and having so many epic and rares in this deck. That's good. That is a big lead. We should be okay here now. And we're still holding the Library of Alexandria. Even though it's burning, I'm not too worried. And we don't need to panic here. Let's get Doppler out of the way. And maybe Magna Carta. 309. He's not going to catch 870 or 881 he needs. He's never going to get that. No. Okay, 2-1. Looking good. Well played, Zenfest. Come on, War Goat. I do like a goat. I do like a goat. No surprise, I am dad of the goat. Not because I look like a goat. <laughs> Some people think I do. Okay, here we go. This is probably a round we're going to lose. Um, so we want two good cards in the beginning to come round on round five. I'm thinking Time Machine and... And Ronop, maybe. No, which is... That's on the draw. That's better. Other way around. Two, nine, eight. Oh, we only played two cards. I didn't see that. Three, six, six against two, nine, eight. We have a chance here. I have a plan, I think. Oh, well played, Zen. Good luck. Well played with your plan. I'm not sure I've got a plan. Apart from trying to win. 301, we're 68 behind. It's not going to be good. I'm pleased, though. We have held that Library of Alexandria. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome. Good luck. Ooh, this is going to be tempting. What is Zenfest up to? Oh, can we steal it? We're only 42 behind. I was expecting to get obliterated. I think he's holding all these big cards here. Oh, we can go for this. We can go for this. This could be a big gamble. I think our cards are strong enough, even if we get to round five. But I uh, might have to tease him here a little bit. Oh, Limbo, Limbo, 606. That's not bad. What's he going for? Is he going for it? Oh, he needs a big score. Is he holding back? Or is he going for it? Oh, Zenfest, I think you held back one of your big cards there. I'm not sure. 
I got lucky. Oh, that was a good game. Anyhow, guys, there we go. I do love this Wargo Weekly League deck. It is awesome. Really good fun to play. It is a little bit different. Uh, and it beats playing all of those standard Life on Lad, Auto Tune, Festive Traditions. You will. What's it say? Only. Hey, I, have, I was on zero shields. Hang on. That is weird. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, a bit of a glitch there. I was worried. I thought it had taken me back down to rank two, but no, two shields perfect anyhow thanks for watching guys do enjoy this week league there we go that is this week league rules quite cool league i think have fun take care and we'll be back very very soon bye